this is Gaurav Madan, also called as Code Stellar. So I have installed Visual Studio 2022 Preview Edition in my system recently on my Mac. So today I'm going to explore that. So this is Visual Studio 2022 for Mac. So let's try it out. You can see here now you can create web applications in your Mac using Visual Studio. So you can create web applications, API applications, Blazor, Angular, React based applications. You can also develop for iOS devices, whether it is a, a mobile application using the Xamarin, uh, Xamarin technologies and you can create Android based applications. You may want to develop uh, Azure functions like you can you can develop for for the cloud and you can also uh, develop your applications for the variables so I'm going to create a simple dot net uh, application here let's create one web application okay and I'm going to say continue you can see here another different thing that dot net 6 which with Visual Studio 2022 now we have dotnet 6 available with us so i'm going to select individual authentication here and going to say next uh, and let me give a name say demo dot code stellar dot dotnet 6 and you can see here i can connect with the visual uh, with the git so let's create one So it's going to create awesome so it has created this folder structure right here uh, in my left so this is nothing but the solution explorer here i can see all the files that it has created you can see here it has created a uh, razor pages so all the pages and have a code behind file so if i see here it is an index dot CSHTML and corresponding to this we have a CSHTML.CS where you can write your uh, C sharp code here you write your HTML and your razor of course <coughs> and here in the program.cs we can see uh, that there are certain things changed that there is no uh, you know start up kind of stuff we have directly web application dot create builder which creates a builder then you add your services here and then you build the builder and finally you uh, like here you tell your middleware like your application what all middlewares in the pipeline would be there like HTTPS redirection you can you would be using static files you would be using routing uh, authentication and authorization and you are mapping the RAS razor pages and finally it should run the app another thing that you can see here is areas where it has automatically created the identity because I have chosen to create it with the identity folder and it has created this app.db because uh, I'm using SQLite here so what you can see here is this particular line add db context which is connecting using the use SQLite you may want to change this to SQL Server or in-memory database whatever uh, you like so I'm going to run it so it is showcasing me the output here and the status on what is happening so it is building the application down here we can see and our build is successful it is ready to run now so it has running it is running this application you can see here it has already the bootstrap configured which means uh, uh, I would not need a lot of time to get my application started and since I had chosen individual authentication here so it has created a register page here as well as a login page here okay so I can actually go and can create let's say I want to create karamadan at outlook.com and I will give a password so I'll say register so you can see here it has registered as well the only thing is it has not configured an email sending service 
so i would be clicking here directly to activate this account and now i should be able to log in as well so if i go here i say karamadanetoutlook.com and i will log in so you can see it has implemented validations as well and i can now log out 